Today, the United Auto Workers Union is expanding its strike with more workers walking out of Ford and GM plants. Still, local Ford is spared with the union president not calling on either of Louisville's two Ford plants to join the strike. Sadly, despite our willingness to bargain, Ford and GM have refused to make meaningful progress at the table. That's why at noon Eastern time today, we will expand our strike to these two companies. UAW President Sean Fain making it clear it's not because negotiations between those two companies have completely broken down, but since the UAW is not seeing the progress they hoped for, the strike is expanding, now including a Ford plant in Chicago and a General Motors assembly factory near Lansing, Michigan. The UAW deciding at the last minute to not increase the strike against Stellantis. Fain said the auto company made some sort of progress right before that live stream. The two plants on strike will put 7,000 more workers on the picket line, which means 25,000 workers are now striking across the country. The union is asking for a 36% raise in general pay over four years, among other benefit demands. The automaker's last known wage offers were around 20% over the life of a four-year contract, a little more than half of what the union has demanded. And Ford's CEO hosting his own video conference in response to the union's action, saying he thinks the deal could have been already made. What's really frustrating is that I believe we could have reached a compromise on pay and benefits. But so far, the UAW is holding the deal hostage over battery plants. Keep in mind, these battery plants don't exist yet. They're mostly joint ventures. They've not been organized by the UAW yet because the workers haven't been hired and won't be for many years to come. And it is important to note the battery plants they're talking about include Blue Oval SK Battery Plant currently being built down in Harding County.